so this is the editorial for question b brightness begins from code forces round 976 div 2 the problem statement goes like this imagine you have n light bulbs numbered 1 to n initially all bulbs are on to flip the state of a bulb means to turn it off if it used to be on and to turn it on otherwise means if it was off will turn it on and if it was on will turn it off what do we have to do for each i equal to 1 up to n flip the state of all bulbs j such that j is divisible by i what does this mean means we have to iterate or travel traverse from 1 to n and flip the state of all j such that j is divisible by i so when it's one's turn every number that is divisible by 1 will have it its state flipped when it's two's turn every number which is divisible by 2 will have a state flipped after performing all operations there will be several bulbs that are still on that is after traversing from 1 to n there will be several bulbs which are on after we flip it and flip it flip it and flip it our goal is to make this number exactly k and for that we have to find the smallest number n such that after performing the operations there will be exactly k bulbs on the constraints goes for k from 1 to 10 to the power 18 now let's look at an example so 1 2 3 all right so at first all are on so let's write that on 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 at first one switches itself and its factors off so goes like this f since everything is a factor of 1 so everything is off then we come to 2 2 switches itself on and its factors on so on and on and we go to 3 three switches itself on and since it has no factors so that's it on then we go to 4 4 switches itself off and uh, when it comes to 5 5 switches itself on so three numbers in total remained on which as you can see in the second test case for three bulbs to be on minimum number is 5 now a thing thing to notice is that this was the initial state so our operation started after it so numbers having odd number of factors that is 1 and 4 turn from on to f that is off at last so numbers having odd number of factors turn themselves off after all operations are complete c5 has two factors 5 and 1 so it remains on 3 has two factors 1 and 3 so it remains on 2 has two factors 1 and 2 so it remains on but 4 has three factors 1 2 and 4 and 1 has one factor that is 1 so numbers having odd factors turn off and vice versa for even now which numbers have odd number of factors perfect square numbers So one, four, nine, dot dot dot. So perfect square numbers will remain off after a set of operations. So if we want k 
bulb to stay on. Suppose we have n bulbs. We want k of them to stay on. But for n n, how many of them will be on? Floor of square root of n. But what this does is it says how many perfect squares are there in n. So if we input here 5, we'll get square root of 5 is 2. Uh, floor of square root of 5 is 2. So there are two square numbers. That is 4 and 1. This basically says how many perfect square numbers exist between 1 and n. So n minus k. bulbs will be off and k will be on. So we have to find minimum n for which k bulbs are on. So let's look at the solution. The solution goes like this. First we take k as input and then this is basic binary search. We initialize a variable low as k because of course if we want k bulbs to be on we of course have to take k bulbs at beginning and let's say the maximum number of bulbs we will need is l long max minus k l long max is nothing but the maximum number that long long can hold and we are doing minus k because here we are doing plus so we don't want overflow of long long so adding them up will take us a long max that is maximum limit of long so we won't have overflow and this will be our answer res so what we are doing is first we are initializing mid uh, low plus high by two basic binary search And then we are checking if mid minus find root. What find root does is uh, gives us the square of the square root of the mid. So yeah, using binary search, low equal to one, high equal to one, e nine, and res equal to minus one. While low is res equal to high, we set the mid. If mid into mid is less than equal to n, res is equal to mid, and we check above it, else we check below high mid. So basically, mid minus how many perfect square numbers are there? So out of total numbers, these find root of mid will be off. So from total minus how many off will be how many are on. So if our mid satisfies this condition, we set our answer to mid and we check below it because we want to minimize n. And if this condition is not satisfied, we check above mid. And at last, we give our output. Basic binary search, we check of uh, like at which point at minimum which n uh, or this condition is satisfied that is total minus number of squares that is the numbers which will be off after all the operations are greater than or equal to k that's it thank you